Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to bring to your attention Blizzard's most recent hotfix that changed how Arcane Damage Wands are interacting with Temporal Beacon. Before today, Arcane Damage from Wands was not proccing your healing at all. Blizzard has changed that. Arcane Damage Wands are now healing off your beacon, and this is going to be pretty awesome for not only raid healing, but for farming as well. I am lucky enough to have the wand Deadlight, which is a 30 DPS Arcane Damage Wand that drops inside of BFD. As you can see in this clip, Wanding is now healing me. Single target beacon is doing 12 healing per second, which is pretty awesome passive healing. I love this change, and it's going to make Arcane Damage Wands this for both healing and AoE farming. There are a lot of times in farms, especially the Stockades farm, where you are oom at the end of the pool and at the edge of your life. This change will allow you to prior your mana to putting beacon up on yourself and wanting to refresh your life. Phoenix Ignition Wand will still be best in slot strictly for PvE DPS, but for healing and farming, this will make Deadlight King. If you do not have an Arcane Damage Wand, here are your options. Deadlight is Biss. It drops from Galahas inside Black Fathom Depths. Second best is Cookie Sterling Rod. This drops inside Deadmines off of Cookie. Alliance also have the option of a quest in Stone Talon Mountains that rewards the Spellcraft Wand. For Horde, you're kinda boned here. Lucky for you, I have a video that shows you how I was able to solo Deadmines on my 25 mage. So if you can't find a group for Deadmines, I recommend checking out that video and soloing Cookie for yourself. Link in the description. This is an awesome change that I'm excited to abuse in both raiding and farming. Thank you for checking out this video. If you found the information helpful, please subscribe, share, and like. Thanks.